Greetings and salutations, YouTube land. Pure Evil back again with another unboxing video. Today I have a recurring favorite of mine on the channel. Even if it doesn't seem to be one of yours, you should like it though. The latest fun pack from Dinosaur Dracula. This costs $25. It's a monthly subscription. It's usually sold out, although there tends to be some extras. So if you email them, you might be able to get in. Uh, that includes shipping the 25. It's US only. It supports the website Dinosaur Dracula, which is my favorite pop culture based site on the planet. He does freaking food reviews, movie reviews, digs up old action figures. It's all sorts of crazy stuff. All right, you ready? Let's get ready for the unboxing! Chomp, thank you. So usually Halloween is like the biggest time on the site. I haven't been able to check out any of the articles this year, unfortunately, because I've been so busy. But there have been a bunch. So if you're into Halloween at all, make sure you check it out. Usually the October crate, is, the October fun pack is one of the better ones. This one is on the small side, but that doesn't always mean it's not good. Let's see. We have... Purple tissue paper. But first we have... Spider gummies. I'll be honest, I'm not a big gummy fan, but the kids love these things, so I'm sure they won't last long. Let's see, and we have... Let me see... Lucky Yuckies. One of that's big thing is vending machine toys. He yeah, absolutely loves them. You know, like little things at the supermarket. When I was a kid, they cost a quarter. Now it's like 20 bucks. You get some cheap little prize. And I always had the cards with all these awesome things on it that were never. And the rock means ever inside the machine. So these look like little... Monster versions of muscle wrestling figures. This is like some sort of a Gorgon or Demented Mermaid. This one appears to be Ricky Rouse. I don't even want to know what's going on there. I'm assuming these were around the time that uh, Garbage Pail Kids first became really popular. They seem to be some sort of a knockoff of that. Alright, let's see what else is in here. Let's see. Um, oh, candy. Is that, oh, it's Skittles. Skittles. Dark side. The other side of the rainbow. Sounds like a new Wizard of Oz movie. Uh, the dark side is coming now. Nothing is real. See, this feels like a vile slime. Wow. Nailed that one. Alien oil. Definitely appears to be of the slime pers persuasion. Glow in the dark slime. I'll be honest. Never been a fan of slime. I'm not a big icky person. Plus, you know, having carpets and pets, it wasn't a good combination. And we have the ever-popular Vampire Fangs. Everyone had those bloody things when I was a kid. Let's see, um, something really tiny. Probably gonna lose the bloody thing trying to open it. What is in here? Okay. I don't know where you find a freaking egg this small, but dang. It, ah. It's a ring. Little monster ring. I will, Matt. Alright, up next. There's a lot in here, really. It's all tiny stuff, but... Ghouly faces buttons. Looks like monster buttons. Come on. Ooh, good amount of them, too. Let's see. Mad Marvin the Mummy. Cat Bat. 
Queen Creep. That guy's cool. The mummy just looks weird. <laughs> okay. He shouldn't have had brain. The Egyptians removed the brains and threw them out. Do your research, people. Next, DVD. Ah, yes. Ooh. I've actually always wanted to see this movie. We have Arachnophobia. I believe it was John Goodman in this. Yes. Is it? Yes, John Goodman, uh, Jeff Daniels. This is my wife's all-time favorite movie. I'm sure she's going to want to watch it every single night with me. That's cool. Usually you get something I've never heard of. This is actually a pretty big movie. All right, getting into some of the smaller stuff. We get a newsletter and a special article exclusive to the box. Keeping that exclusivity, I will not share it. All right, the ring's falling off. Let's see, we have a Scream Team coloring book. Yeah, maybe that'll keep me busy during a slow shift at work. I'm kidding. I never have a slow shift at work. And we have... Oh, looks like a fold-out poster. Let's see. Let's... I suck with road maps too, folks. Let's see. Is this one? Yeah, it looks like a name the horror icons. I've got Jason, Critters, Chucky, guessing that's Freddy Krueger's Claws, um, some sort of zombie. I got Night of the Living Dead, but I don't know. Oh, Pinhead. Probably more, because I am not the most knowledgeable when it comes to uh, horror movies. <laughs> That's a pretty neat little poster. Nice artwork on that, actually. And we have our mini poster, which is featured on TV horror movies. I see something from Elvira in there, which instantly makes this awesome. And last but not least, we have this month's sticker, which is a pumpkin head. So, this thing, despite being really small, was absolutely crammed with stuff. Absolutely packed. Like I said, October is usually one of the really good months. I highly recommend trying to get in early so that you have it for October, because these sell out really quickly. So make sure you check out his website for a lot of interesting articles. I also host the Purple Stuff podcast, along with Jay from Sludge City, I think he's calling it now. I don't know. His site used to be the Sexy Armpit, and then he decided to change it for some reason. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you guys are having an awesome Halloween season, at least the best that you can. If you enjoyed this, shoot me that thumbs up. Give me comments down below on any of this stuff. If you've recognized any horror movies I didn't in that poster, please let me know. Ding that little bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Hit that button that's floating there so you can subscribe and catch all of them. And as always, be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes. Trick or treat.